Hey guys, in this quick video, we'll basically be creating this animated circular progress bar. Um, as you can see, we have a shadow uh, on the circle. We have some glow on the bar. Then we have these numbers as well. If you click on it, we have the bar expanding and the number numbers um, sliding in as well. So let's just get started. Before I do, do subscribe to hit the bell icon. Do let me know if there's anything you would like to see. But without further to do, let's just get started. First of all, I'm going to create an artboard. So we're just going to choose the same size as the previous one. I'm going to give it a fill. I usually like darker colors, so I'm going to use a dark color. Probably something like this is fine. I'm going to add a text animated circular progress bar. Uh, something along those lines. That would be fine. We're going to add a circle by pressing the ellipse E key. Um, let's just center it, give it a border. So basically we can give it a 64 pixel border. We can choose a color, probably this one makes sense. Um, give the gap probably 4,000, 4,000 pixels. We're going to give the dash like maybe something recognizable 200. Then I also think like the border can be increased to 72. And then we basically can make this uh, thing rounded and let's just go ahead and actually add the styles to it as well so we need a drop shadow first of all let's just make the drop shadow slightly larger 99 would be fine let's just make the zero and increase uh, increase the so first of all let's just see why I don't see the drop shadow so so I see the drop shadow on this particular thing, but not on the whole thing. And the reason for that is, yeah, I got it. So now let's just go ahead and actually add a drop shadow. So I'm going to go ahead, click the drop shadow, sorry, the inner shadow first, because we want to add it on the circle. Let's just make it 99, going to reduce the, the Y axis i think this looks good let's see if you want to make it slightly darker i don't think so so i'm just going to keep it like that going to add a drop shadow i'm basically going to use the eye picker tool to actually grab the same color as this one basically make it slightly larger 24 maybe even 32 or 48 and obviously then reduce the opacity to something that's slightly less prominent so here we have our circle let's just rename it to a circle now we want to add some numbers in there so i'm going to add one then i'm going to add a zero right next to it and then and again another zero and i'm going to add a percentage sign as well here so now that i have that done and obviously we can make the percentage size slightly smaller if you want so now that we have that done, I'm basically going to group all these things. I'm going to center them and I'm also going to center them inside the circle. So rename that to numbers. I'm going to rename the group to numbers. This is going to be our one zero zero whatever. So I'm basically, since these actually have to go upwards, I'm basically going to go ahead and add these numbers in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and basically going to select all of those things and since this has to go from 0 to 100 i'm going to basically add these things nine times more so here we have like one and then let's say two three four five six seven eight nine and then add a zero as well so as you can see we have these numbers going really down and then we're ending on a zero i'm going to uh, basically copy paste the same numbers till here till and then i'm going to add a zero going to do the same thing here well actually we don't even need to do it what we can do is we can basically just drag this one at the bottom so now that we have all of these numbers and we can also drag the zero because in the start it's just going to be zero percent so now that we have all of these numbers i'm going to draw a rectangle right on top of these numbers so probably something like this just to hide the numbers um, that are outside of the container I'm going to select both of these things. I'm going to press command shift M to mask the shape. So now that I have that masked, basically our work for the most part is done. I'm going to basically select both of these things. I'm going to say this is going to be our uh, test component or whatever you want to name it. I'm going to press plus on the component thing. Um, I'm going to, this is going to be our default state. I'm going to add another state to it, which is going to be our 
completed state. In this completed state, what we basically want to do on this circle is we want to go ahead and increase that to 3500 and then basically increase it manually just till it meet, meets the edges and looks like how we want it to look. And then for these numbers, I'm basically going to drag these numbers upwards. Um, so obviously that's going to be some manual effort. Instead of actually having that manual effort, I can just go ahead and type like 9000 minus 9000 here. So we get a bit close to the bottom. And now that we have that done, I'm also going to move this zero upwards and I'm going to move this one upwards as well. So let's just see if the one is aligned. I think it is now. And basically we have this uh, completed state as well. So the default state and then the completed state. Now we want to add some interaction to it. I want to say basically anytime I, let's say, tap on this thing. So when I, let's say, tap on it, I want it to auto animate and I want it to go to the completed state. The duration should be two seconds and this should be ease in and out. And that's basically what we need to do. Now, if I actually click on it, as you can see, we have the numbers animating and we have the progress bar animating as well. So that's really a quick way to actually go ahead and create something like this. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon and do definitely let me know if there's anything else you would like to see. But till the next video, take care.